welcome back aliens my name is Avin Reddy and let's continue with the series on JavaScript. Till this point we have talked about functions right and now we know we can define a function we can write some statements and we have to call a function. In this video we'll talk about what is a recursion. Now if you have learned recursion in some other programming languages that's completely fine you can skip this video and you can head to the next video. But if you don't know recursion if you want to revise your concept this is the video. Okay so basically what is recursion is so let's go back to the function. So let's say we have a function here, a very simple function. So I will say function show. And now this function show will have some statements, of course. And maybe I would just want to go with one statement, which is I want to print something on a console. And what I want to print, I want to print hi. That's it, so just to keep it simple. And then, of course, if you have a function, you have to call a function. Because if you don't call a function, it will not get executed, right? So you can see I'm running the file. There is no output because it's not getting called. So the important thing is you have to always call a function and let's do that now. And if you run this code, you can see we got high. So at, at least now we are calling a function, which is, which is printing high. Now, basically, if you look at this function show, so of course we are calling a function show here. And then from this show function, we are calling another function called log. So what is happening behind the scene? So you can imagine there's a box, okay? So this box will have all the function calls. Example, when you call this function, which is show, so currently the show function is getting executed, right? Now this will be in a box. This show function is calling a log function. So of course, this function may be having multiple statements, but then when it is calling a log function, the current function which is, which is getting executed is log. Maybe log will take 10 seconds, 20 seconds to execute. Now till that point, when log is executing, the show function is still there in the box. But then show says, okay, you first complete your work, then I will get called, right? Then I will get, I will complete my task. So this is basically called stack, right? So when you call show, so show is on the top now, and then show is calling log, so log will be on the top. So which function will get completed first is depend upon the stack, right? So last in, first out. So log was called last. So it will execute first and then it will go out of the stack and then it will continue with the show uh, function, right? Example, let's say if you call this function show from some other function, let's say I have a function here, which is function ABC. I know that's a weird name for a function, but <laughs> let's go with that for this particular example. And then from this ABC, you are calling a show. So go with the flow. We have an ABC function, which is calling show. And then of course I can call a ABC function. So what we are doing now is we are calling a ABC function. So in the box, we got ABC, then ABC is calling show. So ABC will still be there because it will first complete show because that's the, that is last in first out, right? But show says, okay, first I have to complete log. So log will complete first, then show, then ABC, this stack. And we can call this as a call stack. Cool, right? Uh, let me remove this code now and let's go back to our show function okay so basically we are we are doing this but my question is from a function we can call another function that makes sense can we call a function from itself example if i say show can we do this theoretically if you think about it of course it's a function right you can call any function you can call itself right now what will happen in the stack is when you call this show this is in the stack then this show is calling the show itself so now we'll be having a new entry in a stack. Then this show will execute it. Again, it will call show a new entry, a new entry. So the call stack will have all the show functions, right? And let's see what happens. If you run this code, you can see we got all the highs because it is calling itself. You know, show is calling itself. You know, just to have some fun, I will link a video of Python on the top of the video. So I made a video on recursion Python as well, which is quite fun. I enjoyed making that video. Uh, you can watch it as well. Okay, so you can see we are printing the same thing high and high multiple times, but at the end you got an error. The error says maximum call stack size exceeded. Of course, right, you are calling itself. So the below function, you know, all the show functions which are down, they are still waiting for the above function to get completed. And that's the problem starts because till what point you are reaching because there's no stopping here. Maybe the call stack is 1000, 2000, one, I mean, th there's no limit, right? So of course, box will have a limit. Memory size. Uh, so that's the error here. But we want to know at what point it is breaking. So what we can do is, 
we can pass our initial value. Uh, maybe I can just make a count, right? Every time I get called, not sure will this work. Let's try. So I will say uh, let num is equal to one. Initially it will have it one. And then with high, every time I will just print that num, right? Just to print the value as well. And then uh, after printing it, I will say num plus plus. And then I will call show. This makes sense. Let's clear it. And let's see at what point it breaks. So if you're in this code, you can see it is calling multiple times and this is the breaking point. It's 11,299. So this is the maximum size you can go for. Okay, let me know at what point in your system it is stopping. I'm not sure if it is dependent on some, on some OS or uh, engine. So if you are doing this on a browser, let me know at what point it is getting stopped. So let's try this once again and just to check if it is breaking at the same time. Yeah. So on this machine, I'm not sure about is it depend upon the engine. So you can check that out. Okay, but you can see it is calling itself till this point. So the call stack is getting exceeded. That's the error which we got. Now this concept is called recursion because a function is calling itself. But where do we use this? Just for fun? Uh, not exactly. See, there are some scenarios where you have repeated a task, right? So when you have something repeated to you by calling itself, uh, maybe you have a JSON data, a lot of, you know, we have object inside an object, you have an object inside an object, we can use uh, recursion there. Uh, we can also use recursion one of, one of, for one of the very famous example, which is uh, the factorial. So next video we'll talk about how do you do factorial with a recursion concept, right? Uh, so basically this is recursion, function calling itself. There should also be a breaking point. Maybe one of the breaking point we can do is we can check if the num value is less than or equal to 11999. If that's the case, call show otherwise stop calling show. Then of course we'll not be getting the error. Or not 999, just 299. Okay. So now if you run this code, okay let's see yeah so you can see it is getting stopped no error because we are stopping at the right time uh, so we can actually control till what point you want to call this this will be useful when we start when we go for the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video where we talked about recursion and in the next video we'll see how do we do factorial with the help of recursion so that's it from this video bye bye mm -hmm.